hello everyone welcome back again so finally i am with the passing package of the cad subject computer ad design and manufacturing seventh semester subject its subject code is 18 me 72 before i proceed for the passing package you have to do one thing what is that you have to subscribe my channel and you have to like my video okay so i need at least 100 likes in this video over here okay so let's start the passing package uh, so uh, first of all let's take the module second uh, it contains uh, it consists of two chapters over there okay first one is the uh, cad design computer aided design process and second one is the cap system so you have to focus on the second chapter only uh, just because in the first chapter there are some numerical problems which are very easier one if you just practice those numericals also it is according to your choice but i have taken the theoretical concepts <clears throat> only four questions are from the module uh, two in the second chapter or part if you check your previous year question papers also you will get only four questions uh, in that particular chapter and which are repeated in the examination so what are those uh, with needs a diagram explain generative and retrieval cap system this is the first important question and next one is what do you understand by the cap uh, with a block diagram explain generative uh, system over there these are the two main systems that is <coughs> generative and retrieval sometimes they will separately ask generative system sometimes they will ask a retrieval cap system it consists of 10 marks over there okay this is the first one next is write a note on mrp inputs and outputs benefits of uh, mrp over there okay or sometimes they will give define mrp explain inputs and outputs advantage and disadvantage these are the possible questions which are in the second chapter of the second module you don't need to go for the first chapter of this particular module 2 over here okay <clears throat> so only if you prepare these four questions you will get 20 marks over there in the examination so prepare for this second chapter only next is module third this is again a passing module module 2 is also a passing module and module third is also a passing module <clears throat> there are two chapters also same one is the group technology and uh, like that fms flexible machining system over there okay so in that particular chapter you have to go through uh, define group technology and enumerate the advantages of group technology this is the first question list various types of fms flexible machining system and benefits of fms okay next is explain uh, different components of fms with block diagram and also write down the applications of fms right <coughs> next is the what do you mean by automated storage and retrieval systems asrs it is again an important question 10 marks question will be in the examination and uh, explain parts identification systems and data capture list various types of asrs that is automated storage and retrieval systems next is fms planning and design issues you have to explain these two terms also so these are the possible questions which may come from the module third and also there are uh, this, there is another chapter which is the line balancing uh, numerical problems are asking in the examination if you are compatible with the numerical part you can go through so i have just taken here the passing how you can pass the cad and m subject if you have the theoretical concept if you are good in the theory, theoretical concepts also okay if you are convenient with the problematic part you can go through right so next is the module 4 that is explain with neat sketches the different joints used in industrial robots in also module 4 also there are two chapters but uh, there is always uh, in the examination the pattern is like that you will get the question from the separate chapters suppose first one is the cnc that is computer numerical control and another one is the robot technology so whatever the questions are as per syllabus uh, i have taken from the robot technology as it is the easier one and in the above part there is also a numerical part where you have to write down write down the g codes and m codes for the particular problems like turning milling <coughs> if you are not convenient with that so you have to go through this robot technology which uh, consists of theoretical uh, concepts uh, only here right so explain with the neat sketches the different joints used in the industrial robots next one is write a short note on robot programming methods also write components of robots okay theoretical concepts only list various configuration of industrial robot robot sketch and draw in detail this is the most important question dear friends the various configurations of a industrial robot and also i will provide the note notes on notes later on so this is all about the robot technology while well, you will get these important questions also robot anatomy joints you will get also and also the classification of a robot and uh, these are the configurations sometimes they will uh, separately ask you what are what is the polar configuration what is the cartesian cartesian coordinate configuration and cylindrical coordinate configuration like that i have made these separate notes for this also that is robot technology and also applications and 
uh, advantages and disadvantages okay later on i will provide it so this is your uh, various configuration of industrial robot briefly explain the control resolution accuracy and repeatability some theoretical terms and application advantage and disadvantages of robots over here so this is all about all possible questions which may ask which may frequently ask in the video examination you should go through so this is all about the model 4 so let's move towards the model 5th over here so model 5th is again it is uh, the additive manufacturing process over there okay next is future of automated uh, factory uh, two chapters also from the module fifth one is additive manufacturing process another one is future of automated factory you should focus on uh, only additive manufacturing process just because major portion they will ask from this only so explain basic working principle of additive manufacturing or define am systems advantages disadvantages and applications of additive manufacturing number second and then some additive manufacturing processes uh, processes so where you have to focus on the di diagrammatic part focus on di uh, diagrams practice diagrams very well so that you will easily uh, score in this particular module also that is photo poly uh, polymerization material jetting sheet lamination and powder bed sintering techniques are there uh, there are a lot of powder bed sintering techniques but uh, especially sele uh, selective laser sintering you have to focus on from this particular part okay next is binder jetting material extrusion direct energy deposition techniques try to understand the concepts in your own convenient language so that you can uh, write down it in the examination with your own words over there okay in your own words next is four which is possible questions slicing of the CAD models in additive manufacturing process so this is all about the model fifth so you can easily score from this subject not only pass you can score in this particular subject okay next is the model first why i have taken it last so in this particular module there are two chapters where there is the intermixing of questions from the first chapter and second chapter so you have to focus on the uh, numerical part also in the module first that is first question is important one which is uh, frequently asked in the examination that is define automation explain different types of automation next is define production rate production capacity utilization and availability and uh, mlt and uh, work in progress okay so these are the term terminologies in the in this module module first over here so numericals on the basis of based uh, on the above uh, terms whatever i have discussed it, that is production rate production capacity utilization availability uh, so on that particular basis there will be question, uh, numericals okay you have to go through uh, your previous question your uh, previous question paper so that you will practice some numericals and you will get idea and also for this module i have made I think notes over here that is your first module what is automation so like that you will get problems in the particular module over here so this is all about work in progress the terminologies which are I had discussed and also numerical part is here so these type of numericals you will see in the examination okay I will share this also later on so this is another chapter which I think you should not go through uh, in this particular module just because uh, I, uh, I just tell you that there is the intermixing of questions but if you just focus on the numericals if you try numericals and what is automation like that questions you will easily score in the model first also okay so on that basis you will get numericals okay so all the best for your examination so hope you will clear this subject with ease over there not only clear you will just uh, score in this particular subject as lot of theoretical concepts are over there i think you can write it in your own words by understanding the concepts so all the best thank you for watching my video